off white and yellow side. Choppy joins us for a great looking dinner in the box. We'll certainly be investing in one of them later. Buster's barbecue open for business as usual. Paul's licking his lips. Here we go then. Certainly is an Andy Muse built car, 728. Look at that. Chris Woods looking very good. So, here we go then. The green tyre awaits them. The Petters boys set the pace. Here we go. We are racing here in the North Arena. First time this evening. And off we go. Osler taking their pins around there. Nearly the heat holds on very nicely. And it's uh, Carl Petters who takes an early lead. And, uh, well, look at the yellows looking very nice. Swan there, Newman, Ivan Street, Tam Tweedy, McMillan downgraded to yellow. 26 bars, 728 points, 191 stuff there. Plenty of action at the front, though. Whites and yellows all the way. Lee Pettit and 13, 22 carpets. The heat's making good progress. Not like you've seen uh, before this uh, struggle with that car in the past. But, uh, oh, dear. Oh dear, down the back straight, not looking too good for Rob as he goes off onto the infield and has the initiative over to Osler. Action there and Sam. Oh dear, Nick Kent takes it, takes Swan with it and Elms. Down the home straight, there he goes, powering. Frank Paolo all over the place and he's giving it the uh, advantage to Mick Osler in uh, 3 7 7 22. Pairs chasing him, 3 1 1 movement takes aside. 3 50 powering in the hard work.
Green and flat fields, we're on the way with the Whites of the Yellows Championship and for limited battles. So, one, two, drop to the start, five, seven, nine, Mr. Trotty goes off into a tyre, just seven, ninety, eight, takes around there. Five, nine, seven, Randy Ashburn there, uh, into the home straight tyre hard.
35 cars out on the raceway, yeah, and we get moving with tonight's Olympic man in number two. steering column's gone to in that one so uh
Three to run next time, Mr. Starmer. Three to run next time. Shorty leading in 67, Sparky in second. Good well in 22, Dave Vincent uh, now coming through third. 86 Charlie spun off the third back center of Vince on the way once more. So we better on the back the back stripe we won 48. Shorty and uh, the third one in number two in the middle of the 67. Sparky not waiting a given chance. But they look pretty evenly matched round here as the uh, last tip goes. And one to go for Shorty. Rubber driver six still circulating in this one there. Starting there to uh, reduce now as well. And uh, trying to pick his way past that. Uh, six Charlie Howard. Can't make it through that time, the Luke Chief's still going a bit slightly slow to his one, 48 short, he takes the win. So, short a year with the victory in heat number two and unlimited magnets this evening. Now we keep the rest of the field coming through over on to complete the distance in this one. And through the good Mr. Starmer, thank you, it's Red Bulls. Drivers underway yet for a two litre rear wheel drive bangers, heat number one. Thank you. 
won't get taken. They take six little stop and then in the top turn. And then good day also there in bonus three at nine zero. David Gibson then takes around 148 shorty. And uh, well shorty uh, quite literally uh, the uh, drive train at the back end completely lets down as uh, 21 uh, James and Colton turns up 42 uh, Stephen Briggs into the home straight wall. Prince getting away on the meanwhile that 6484 Jane Brunker comes in that uh, little shot on 601 that uh, bleed out all the home straight come on bring you in with our Six start get flicks out two five seven water boy down the back straight. On we go at 27 in each set, still there leading the way. The water boy there with the pack going from Mountain 273. 2 on 2 Super Mario runs third, 21 Colvin's fourth. 2 8 0 slick. Uh, Struggling to get the tail end, uh, flapping on the uh, two of the two in that uh, more back time round. Big Prince in trouble at 715, he comes uh, to a hot town there. And Davies uh, charging round at the uh, private for three races, going over 730 in advance. Lays that down in ball with 572 square there, and Gibson uh, in there uh, with the bumper in that turn. Uh, Lawrence Lawrence, they all uh, jostle for positions. 27 still leads, Wonderboy at the head of the pack, 273 mount second, Mario in trouble, he pulls off the right way, so it's 21 pole and pull through the third, 730 mates takes around, 572 squared to the Carlton Hurst. Waterboy are joining the action, they're in 257. Mario looks at these little for that, as if he's going to get back into it now as well.
smash it all the way. Two little saloons, off we go. Looking alike, he means business in the new car. All the uh, top boys feel their way through on the start line. You can see the green tyre bearing down on them. And off we go. Neil Kent and Petters started off. Bowell, well, he fell asleep at the start. Didn't uh, look like he wanted to go. Fred Powell taken around and given a plan by Dwayne and his son. Obviously, an argument over lunch. And uh, so uh, through they go. 350 pound all over the place. 442. Barry White. The bonnet on the track. Goodness me. It's been uh, destroyed out there. And uh, 641. Willie Scores Jr. goes through. 219. Luke Grief out of the action. 570. Venite is uh, going against the flow. Fred Powell gives a, uh, a head on to Parry. But uh, the bonnet. Uh, God knows, so uh, we pick it up down the back straight, down the home straight. Is it uh, 637 Bull D leading the way? And uh, 164, I do apologise, Neil Kent leads the way. 401 taken around by 364, Bill. We'll keep a check out for 164, Jason, he is the leader. And uh, there he is, he's coming out towards you. Next to the 192, taken out actually, so he's not the leader no more. 80. Boy, he's just got past you there, uh, Jason, in the black car. Number 80 leads the way, and he's 512 there, Darren Barney. Massive, massive action going on, but it's Boy who leads the way. We'll just wait for confirmation on 512, but Barney's down, so we go back. And he's at uh, Barbara, 128 for a couple from a decent position. And uh, he's there in second place, and uh, he's 698, Oliver there for third. Yes, Danny Colliver, it is in third place, making great headway. And a uh, Red Cross 219, Jason, thank you, sir. 219 for a Red Cross, it's Lee Boyd, 80, hasn't been in his position before, leading the race by Barbara. In second place, being uh, chased down by 698, Danny Colliver. Let's not forget 512, Darren Barnett is a back marker. So 80 has a car in between them, and it's certainly uh, no slouch. 698, Colliver takes the lead. Barbara is in big problems now in the middle of the track. Takes one from Jackie Clayton, and uh, our hopes the drivers making good progress through the field. But it's still 80 Boyd who leads the way. You have to go uh, about half a straight back to 698. Danny Colliver and 499 Aldous. Is he there in third place? I do believe so. So Aldous is making great headway and uh, it looks like it could be only a matter of time before Aldous heads in lead. But uh, Kent goes round and 164 was leading this race. 777. Alan Ainsley has problems over by the big gate. But uh, 350 pounding rejoins the action. 511 Barnett and 428. Having a, a little bit of a to do down there, and 401 wins to look at the clean of them. And our arm goes to Barney, just about holds on but out of its racing position. So we uh, go back to the head of affairs, and it's 80 boy still looking like a race winner out there in front, dealing with the back markers very nicely. But what will he be able to do? Barney's getting involved, but boy, he shoves it wide. The back marker, and 499 all the same. Oh, that was huge. Barney, there's stuff on the back of the truck there. More stuff going on, and Barney has to put it up. Helms gets out of the way. 22 Pellet goes round. Perrin goes round as well, but it's still 499. Dave Dawnus at the head of affairs. 499 Aldous being chased hard by 698 Colliver. And 80 Boyd now sits in third with 570 Benoit and 402 Webster on his heels. But it's your European champion, 499. He's away and gone. 698 Colliver there for second. 80 Boyd. And then it's 402 and 115. Aldous battling it out. 
be a front three and let's give credit to the boy Bailey Driver who has set about his business very nicely and settles down in third. Three to go next time, Jason, who's uh, started this race superbly, a difficult one to do, but he's handled it brilliantly like most weeks and most races. Four more nine orders, still leads the way the European champion, looking very good indeed. Callum and on the back markers in his way, should be a problem and handles it nicely, look at that for driving and confidence, but Callum and Powell surely are uh, still in his way, but uh, orders will move them ashore, aside and uh, Callum goes wide and Powell will be to deal with. 698 Colliver. The logo, very checkers please, very checkers please on the raceway. Very checkers please on the raceway. We can't carry on uh, with uh, an incident on the raceway. So, uh, well, with uh, something on the track there by the big gates, obviously the uh, steward not 100% uh, convinced that we should continue with that one. And it's 499 uh, David Aldous who takes the race with Oh, 
So red flags uh, out uh, on circuit uh, and uh, we get uh, the uh, cars uh, steadied up uh, on the Unlimited Bangers uh, Consolation events. Three to run next time, Mr. Starter. Three next time round. 
And it's 27 still there, but 42 Steve Prince now waiting as Blake gets involved down that straight. And Blake will be out there. Throws himself into the turn, Steve Prince, and not in the best place on the outside of that big car. And he's going to try and go around the outside again there. Down into the uh, turn they go. But still, it's 27 long for the chasing uh, duo of Steve Prince and 21 Colbert have got a bit more work to do once again there. Longford uh, taking a wide line through the turn though, it's certainly not all over yet for the victory in this one, two in a row. 715 with Prince and a bit of a nibble there and mounts in 273. Prince in trouble there, it's 21 Jason Coleman who comes around the outside, down the home straight, into the lead spot. So that's that out there, it's 21 Coleman now in charge from 27 the Wonderboy. That leads in one and two, 22 now Vincent's come through the third, then it's 730 Mays. But uh, back around the victory, it's going to be Jason Coleman uh, who uh, wins that one for the two in rear wheel drive hanger. So two out of two uh, for the Matthews pilot uh, in uh, 21 tonight in uh, the uh, Lonesome Sierra. Uh, and uh, Dave gives it across the line, he's uh, taken out the running. And so I don't stick having a pop of going start in trouble. We've got a one to start with a red please. Neil Kemp still leads the way. He's 
it's uh, got to be a difference now there, Sean McMillan, who is who uh, looks like to put through to no, he's not, I do apologise Jason, he's still 164 Neil Kemp, still followed by 637 Paul Deep, 80 Boyd and 429 straight is the man making most headway from everybody else, McMillan is not there, we do apologise for that jump, 164 Kemp leads the way and it's going to be 637 Paul Deep, 420 Ivan Street making eye patching progress down the back straight as the red drivers still keep tricking over themselves. 401 Webster is the one to suffer this time. 219 Grief looking for payback as he clouds 149 Samson. But it's still the leader. 164 Mill Kent going great goes down the back straight. But he's got rival and Arch Enemy 360 Waterfield in front of him. Tough decisions ahead. Life for Neil Kent, but he still leads away and he's on up his arch enemy as he comes down the home straight and a whole host of drivers before he goes back to 420 Ivan Street, but the racing thick and fast and it's absolutely fantastic. If you're not enjoying this, you're not a stock car fan. 164 Neil Kent leads away as he comes down the home straight, 420 Ivan Street. Griefy is not there, so you'll have to ignore that car. 637 Bull Deep is the man in third place, and is Morris the man making progress in 591 to fourth? So 164 Kent still leads away. Jake Swan, the back marker, still giving him a bit of that Ivan Street takes round Darren Barney in 512, and he certainly can't be done. Oh my goodness me! Here we go, it's Wave Yellows. Wave Yellows on the raceway. Big, big action over there. Over there, can you believe it? In a race that was kicking off, in a race that was kicking off nicely, 360 Warfield, Craig Barnett, and Jamie Sampson, the boys involved down there, hopefully everything okay. What a saloon race! Barnett, the man who took them all in, and uh, Jamie Sampson out of the car. Barnett's still in there, Warfield's still in there, but my God, North of Breeder, we have got some salute races here this evening, absolutely unbelievable.
Tifanger Grand Final. Backs in hard on the uh, nose of 119 Cruncher at the start of that one. Then 22 Dave Vinson going through the back wheel of Plax as well. And at the other end, 313 uh, John Cullington takes around 730 Dino. 313 John Cullington nails uh, 81. Uh, Ashley Bell there, 180 uh, latching on the uh, back of their spot to take him in. Down the back straight as well, Sparky uh, continuing there to bury 3-1-3 uh, three, three, uh, Cully into the back of uh, Nathan 7.30, or 7.90 even. 2.66 on job getting caught with the uh, back wheel of uh, 7.30 Dino down there as well. Drama down here as Shorty uh, tries to get hold of 69 JR. So we look uh, for our race leaders coming through. So 451 still there. Uh, Willie Blackwell out at the head of the field. I think it will be 185 Polly Reed who runs second. So in fact, could be 617 over here up to second already. Shorty, meanwhile, attacking down there as 321 uh, Newton uh, fires uh, 90 80 Harbour down to the pit gate. Joe 90 take around on the home straight by JR in 69 then. 230 Mr. Mean has gone down there in the roadside to the front. Uh, Wheel uh, hanging rather full on on that car. And at the far end, 382 Chubby uh, trying to get hold of Ashley Bell, but he manages to stay on the wall that time round. Mr. Mean safely uh, over the fence uh, to the safe side then. Down the back straight, 148 Shorty flicks around number five, the Flying Pro. Two sixty-six on job, uh, still circulating out there as well. And oh, Blackwell uh, can here have a shake down here on the home straight. Collects it all back together though. Four five one Blackwell it is then out at the front of the field. Overy now gets hold of uh, six nine five Mice and uh, fires him off into the wall. Through we go, three to run next time, Mr. Starter. Blackwell leads it in 4-5-1. I believe it's second spot for 6-1-7 over it. It could well be no look Nat in 1-1-6 in third. Shorty in number 1-4-8 also well up there, and uh, he gets held up taking around Polly Reed there. So through we come, 4-5-1 Blackwell. Still a long way clear in the Jagger. 67 Sparky takes around 450 plats down there in the turn. And down the back straight, uh, 3 2 1 Newton uh, attacking uh, 17 uh, the Little Chief. Starmer going in on the uh, back of that car. Chief in 17, attacking 81, Ashley Bell down the uh, back straight there as well. Ashley Bell somehow keeping that uh, Volvo uh, 9 Series of State running, but uh, he has got an awful amount of damage on there now. And it's uh, just about to uh, have enough out there. Through we come then, the check and flags fall, and it's 4 5 1 with Blackwell who wins uh, tonight's grand final in the uh, Series 2 Jack. So, good drive from Blackwell uh, to uh, take it uh, flag to flag in tonight's uh, banger final for the Unlimited Cars. 
get the uh, remainder confirmed, but I believe it was 6-1-7 over for second and 1-4-8 shorty for third. That's all, Mr. Star, here we go, red please, red on the raceway. Green flag is out on the raceway and off we go with tonight's two-litre banger rear-wheel drive grand final. 390 uh, Gibbo uh, meets the reversing uh, 601 bling on the nose then. So uh, we'll uh, tuck under the front uh, for 601 bling. And Gibson also uh, stranded by the looks of it there. At the head of the field uh, Gibson uh, fights it up and goes again. 7.30 Mays flicks around. 1.48 Shorty coming off turn two. Two on two. Richard Marion uh, takes around 5.57 Paul Bowen. So paranoid gone there out the front of the field. Our lead has come back through and it's 27 the Wonder Boy from 2.73 the Mouse. 2-1-2, Mario in third and 42, Stephen Prince in fourth. one 4 8 Shorty, uh, by the looks of it, the half shaft's let go yet again on that car. Down the back straight, there's a fair old train going in there. Oh, and over he goes, onto his wheels. Shane Davies uh, now nails uh, 2.57, the water boy down there on the home straight as well. So, uh, in there uh, he comes, uh, 148 shot here uh, with the last on that 2.57 to the orange down there as well. Two squirt takes around the uh, A-Link one for a shorty. And then the A-Link one is uh, going to take around.
27 it is. Wonderboy still leads 4 2 7. I think he's still second. Uh, Dave Johnson. And Paranoid now getting hold of uh, 148 short. It runs him in down there on the right side turn. Tony Cayley uh, tonight, so we're about to make do with Jason. I'm sure we'll uh, change that at some point in the near future. So, the number one salute formula alongside the number one starter. It's a match made in heaven. Two little salute stock car final next on the raceway. The real deal. <laughs> Go then, they approach the green tyre and it's go, go, go. This is it, nothing but action from here. Here we go then, Neil Kemp taking around. Kemp's gone from Pat Harris, taking himself around. 128, Batwell goes with it. Elms and Higgins go pirouetting onto the infield, trying to go for Tony. And why not? No better target on the right way than that. So we're about to go Steve Newman in three, number one, Alan Ainsley and Barney. They're all climbing the wall once again. Barney gets a nudge out on the way. And it's 637 ball deep, looking like uh, he's going to be flying away with this one in the next few laps. But uh, Parry going backward down the back straight. And uh, 499 Aldous has gone. 499 Aldous has gone. Oh, that looked like a hefty head on there. Webster done by 164. Alan Ainsley. It's uh, sat down the back straight, not in a very nice position at all. It's all stuff. Uh, Scott Aldridge gets taken aside. And uh, Webster, and uh, well, here we go then. The next four cars approaching. 164 shifts him aside. Alan Ainsley has uh, got himself going again, but he's in a very precarious position. 
position. So here we go, then we'll try and find the leader for you. It's still 637. 637 still leads the way from uh, Berry in 402. And then it looks in, looking like Ivan Street's going to be there in third as well. Alan Ainsley still where uh, the what? Goodness me, I thought Willie Scores Jr. was going to rejoin in front of every single car coming round that bend. But uh, in another hectic race, a hectic final, it's 637 challenged and passed by Simon Berry and 420 Ivan Street sits there. Oh goodness me, they're all going in. Parry caught up with amongst all the big boys. And uh, I think he's seen quite enough for one evening as Thomas Parry and pulls off onto the infield. Berry goes round. Your leader's gone. 420 Ivan Street leads away. 637 Ball Deep coming back for more. And Jake Swan's there as well. 232's making decent progress down the back straight. And name that we haven't had to mention so far this evening. But when is looking uh, like when is he going to take the lead in this one? But uh, down the home straight they come, Ivan Street challenged by Bull Deef and Jake Swan and oh, Jake Swan gets rid of them both. And it's now Jake Swan who takes it up from win. And McMillan pushing them all aside to say get out of the way. The main man's coming through, Sean McMillan, 191 giving chase to Jake Swan down the home straight. And Willie Scores Jr, he's not there, he's a back marker but making uh, decent progress as he goes through. Sean McMillan runs wide and gives Jake Swan a bit of extra time up front and a bit of extra lead. And it's Jake Swan who leads away. All action behind him, but uh, he's won a final previous to this. And uh, so he's got the experience, but down in front of us, Tom Tweedy goes around. Thanks to Bull Deep, who's got to be, got to be angry about it. Oh, goodness me! And the English champion caught up in it as well. Win! Absolutely! 74 Tom Tweedy and it's white. No. 74 is uh, wanting to stop it. Will go waved yellers. So uh, wait, wave yellers. Thank you, Jason. Here we go. McMillan is off. He held the back there. Oh, look at what's going on in the back there. Samson trying to push on with it as he managed to do the job, but McMillan leads the way. Jake Swan's there in second, Griefy's there in third. Colliver's trying to hold off Craig Barnett, and Aldous has gone around again. He's not having the best of finals. He's been well on the pace all night, including the heat win, but uh, just can't get the rub of the green in the final. Newman has gone skating around 402. Webster had a bit of a lucky escape with a fence as well. And Aldous rejoins in front of the leaders. So here we go then. Sean McMillan leads the way. 499 Aldous is the back marker. That's not very often you say that at the salutes. And uh, 538 Jake Swan is nearly being pushed aside by Luke Grief. But Luke Grief is, uh, well, he's, he's hanging on there, is Jake Swan. And fair play to the uh, yellow top driver who's making his debut season here in the 2 league salutes. And he has won a final this season, but this time Luke Grief has managed to get past him. And it's Sean McMillan leads the way. Jump one and discount Aldous and go to uh, 219 Luke Grief, the local star. He's uh, heading the chase in packing second. And look at that as you go down the back. There, uh, Venai is going to be pounced upon by Jamie Sampson, pushed aside for uh, uh, a place, and I do believe it's going to be about fifth position. So uh, down they go, then 1-9-1, McMillan leads away. Briefs there, Jake Swan holding on, Bull Deef goes out in front of us, and Barney is the next man to pass Jake Swan in an attempt to try and rear in this leader. Sean McMillan, but it doesn't say no signs of him slowing up yet. Even though Alders has passed him, it's not phased him. Parrin once again entering the infield. And, oh, he's back on, no. Oh. So uh, down the home straight they come. And uh, your leader, Sean McMillan, Barnet and Luke Grief side by side in the hunt. Oh, Venai and Samson, Jamie Samson and Simon Venai have uh, ended their interest in this one. And it'll be a con. I don't even think minor placing is going to be on. Oh, goodness me! Venai, three next time, Jason for Sean McMillan. 
570 he rejoined in front of Barnett and uh, well I think now this race is over Sean McMillan looks to have tied up this final with three laps to go it's going to be a tough one and we're looking at the battle for second Sean McMillan leads the way here comes the battle for second with Barnett and Luke Grief second and third and James Swan trying to get back in the action by trying to shimmer side 698 Danny Colliver but down the back straight he comes two to go this time round as cool as you like Sean McMillan in 191 back down to Yella and uh, he's leading the way there's no challenge to him at all second place is Craig Barnett who's brushed off Luke Grief but uh, oh, I wouldn't discount Luke Grief from this one yet but Barnett is getting away from him one to go then one lap for Sean McMillan this has been a masterclass from the restart 191 leads the way 511 Barnett and uh, Luke Grief still there in third position and 191 McMillan brushes aside Steve Neiman on his way to victory and here he comes here he comes give a big round of applause great race win a great final 191 Sean McMillan wins it Craig Barnett for second and Luke Grief for third a great final in the two little saloon stock cars the rest of the drivers making their way over the start finish line but uh, a race win in the whites and yellows he found them and there we go then we'll go to reds thank you jason he started off the night with a race win and finding a pound on the track and now he's got a few more pounds in his pocket by winning the final great stuff Sean McMillan in 191 taking this evening's final for the two little saloon stock Four eighteen 
Red and Gun Street, he's taking it up as a start. One, four, eight, Red now ahead of five, nine, seven, Matt Ashman. As you're leading to in this one. Spins out to the tyre over there. 321 Newton gets round around as well. And 90 uh, also going out. Amy Harborg uh, has gone down there. Through we go. Three run next time for 148 Shorty. Starmer, we believe, in 525 could well now be uh, running in second. Recovered onto the middle. 185 Polly goes around down there at the far end. We now see JR being hassled by 67 Ricky Beasley. And JR oh. back away down here from 382 Chubby. Could it be that Shorty's in trouble? 382 uh, Chubby getting in uh, on the back of him there. 349 and a half. Once again, coming down to a stop here on the main straight. Meanwhile, 148 it is. Holly Reid, way up around uh, once more. 17 on the chief limbs on uh, in uh, the uh, damaged uh, DS420 limo. Sparking with the crew in 180 with the check and claim out the ball for 148. Shorty who wins it. So Shorty plays that one. The rest of them coming through uh, completed right to the distance on this one. So green flag goes out and we're underway with tonight's two litre rear wheel by banger destruction derby. So 148 goes straight in and nails 148 shorty. Treble 8 Lloyd Stark going in on the back wheel of 158 Davies. Travel 8 start now coming after the uh, Capri, but Davies uh, off uh, and on his way. 390 Gibson down the back straight, lining up shorty, and it's a big old shot putting the roof upon that one. Uh, 
and they all uh, go in there. One four eight shorty in as uh, Travel Eight Lloyd Stark uh, nails three ninety Gibson in turn. So six oh one Bling going in uh, on the nose of one five eight Shane Davies in the Capri. Gibson uh, limping on one four eight shorty is out of it as. Uh, Gibson goes in hard through the front wheel on the 601 machine. Travel 8, Stark turning around there. And we look at to see where's Gibson headed for. Wheels on the uh, front of that one are uh, somewhat uh, cross-eyed. It's Treble 8 Stark who goes in uh, with the shots on 390. Back in on the nose then uh, between those two as well. Gibson head-to-head. Uh, -head with the treble eight machine of Stark and uh, pushes him uh, back down towards the wall now. Davies uh, has got himself uh, going a bit better now uh, and in he goes on the nose uh, for the treble eight machine. So Davies uh, getting away, the uh, front wheels on the Capri starting to uh, look uh, as if they're struggling a bit now as Trevor Lake Stark goes in on the nose of Gibson. <laughs> and uh, once again uh, in uh, hard on the attack from Trevor Lake Lloyd Stark then. He's certainly uh, going all out to try and do the damage and claim this destruction derby tonight. Davies limping on then and he uh, cops it on the nose as well from the lively star. Five eight Davies uh, going in then through the front wheel of three nine oh Gibson. He gets himself going once again as three ninety uh, goes in on the nose of Treble Eight Stark and one five eight Davies comes in from the other side. So Bling manages uh, to uh, get uh, on the move after quite a while. 390 uh, pushing Davies uh, around quite a bit. Gibson uh, on the attack once more. Gibson is then lurching forward once more. Davies comes around and goes in through the back wheel of Treble 8 Stark. And Bling now goes in uh, with the uh, big shot uh, on 158 Davies, uh, taking him into the side of Gibson. So what's uh, still moving in there? Well, Davies uh, is still uh, on the move in there. Treble 8 Stark uh, looks as if uh, he is done. Gibson still uh, goes over there as well, and he goes in now on the nose uh, of 601 Bling. Davies uh, still uh, managing to find a little bit of motion out there as well. Gibson comes back around uh, and goes in over the front wheel of uh, 601 Bling then in the Mark III limo. Davies uh, still battling on trying to keep that uh, Capri or rather encourage that Capri to go in a direction that he uh, thinks he's got some sort of control over. The wheels uh, unfortunately uh, not uh, helping him out a great deal there. Gibson uh, goes in on the nose.
Bling still backing off over there as well. So Gibson going back in, looking to try and finish off one of these. A limited bag of destruction derby still to come then, but what uh, is uh, going to uh, come uh, of the uh, remaining part? We've got to that uh, terrible stage now where all the wheels are crossed up. No one really can uh, get very, very far. So just uh, trying to judge uh, whether or not uh, 390 Gibson uh, is still moving over there. 601, of course, Chris Medler was uh, out uh, of the uh, action for too long in the early stages of this destruction derby. It's a green flag and we're underway with tonight's Unlimited Banger Destruction Derby. safely so far in this one. Three ninety nine. Uh, Johnny Atkin uh, runs five five one. Danny Blackwell uh, around the wall. And it's uh, in the nose from five one two. Uh, Dan Jackson on uh, four five one. Billy Blackwell over there. Two eighty slickers uh, blown up. Uh, Three nine nine. Johnny and uh, six uh, eleven. The young postman. Uh, Nails slicking 280. Here comes the 180 Sparky. 180 Sparky blows up the 611 machine of Jeeves. And 551 Danny Blackwell goes in on the nose there as well. There's a huge one down that track. Seems to say. I know uh, wearing from 451 that uh, will work well. So 525 Starmer uh, gets a bit done on the action with 512 down Jackson. Sparky making uh, his way around. Huge one, 180, uh, Sparky uh, blows up 525, Starmer in a big way. Red, red, it's uh, a red, red, red on the raceway. Uh, Red's uh, red, red on the raceway. Who won race four? Who's over there? So uh, we've got Red's out on circuit, concern down there for 392, uh, Sam Baines uh, over on the back straight, uh, and it's Red's out on the raceway. So uh, we go back uh, to uh, the action now. 
And 617 over he nails the 180 Sparky Hassling 67 Sunny Black. Sunny Black 617 Jack Avery on the hunt for 180 Mark Foster. And down the back straight 67 Beasley gets him. And it's a big one through the back wheel from 617 Avery. Mark Foster, is he still active out there or is he out of the running? Well, 67 Beasley isn't going to wait to find out. He goes straight in on his teammate, 617 over him. So down there, those two cars seem to be launched together. Ivory uh, manages uh, to pull the two of them apart. And away they go once again. 617 Ivory then in pursuit of 67 Ricky Beasley. In uh, on uh, the uh, back end then, uh, takes him out and uh, turns into the tyres. Come 67 on that, the nose of 617 Jack Overy. So once again, a bit of cagey stuff being played out here. Overy goes in and takes him around. And then uh, in reverse and pins him to the wall as well. Back in on the nose as well from Ivory's uh, not uh, going to give Beasley any peace in this one. Beasley looking uh, as if he's uh, now struggling to find some gears in there. His head's looking at his feet. Finds reverse. And Ivory uh, is uh, right there to tuck under the back end of the Volvo estate. Escaping uh, across there. Uh, six or so. He comes back around and meets him on the nose once again. Beasley still looking uh, reasonably strong. The back end of that car uh, starting to be a bit of a concern. Very close to the axle, but uh, he's uh, going uh, with the best form of defence. It's attack. Once again, there is something that has fallen a little quiet around there. Overy uh, beginning to sense uh, that he's uh, got this one in the back now. Goes in with another big shot on the back end uh, of 67 Beasley. Uh, we go 617 it is Jack Overy who wins at tonight's unlimited banger destruction derby thanks uh, for joining us here tonight at the North Arena everybody if uh, you're uh, into uh, things brisker formula